Good morning, it's Tuesday, September 16th, 2008. I'm Jilly Bedanes, and this is The Morning Briefing, a rundown of the stories we're following here in WashingtonTimes.com. Well, it was a rocky day on Wall Street yesterday. The Dow Jones plunged 500 points, the worst point drop since September 11th, 2001. Unlike the government's response to the fall of Bear Stearns earlier this year, Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson said yesterday he never considered giving cash or government guarantees to save Lehman Brothers. The panic on Wall Street took over the conversation on the presidential campaign stump yesterday, but neither candidate offered any new ideas to help end the crisis. Senator McCain continued to tout experience as his greatest qualification. While Senator Obama blamed Republican policies for the problem and said he would help the middle class to overcome their financial struggles. World markets felt the panic today. Midday now in Europe, stocks have already fallen sharply, with banks and insurers being hit the worst. Stocks have plummeted across Asia as well today. Japan's index ended at a three-year low, and shares in South Korea, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Taipei, and Singapore were down. With the markets closed for a public holiday yesterday, today was their first day to react to the news from the weekend. New legislation will be proposed that would legalize semi-automatic handguns in the district, but would limit the number of rounds each weapon could hold. The bill will also relax the safe storage regulations, meaning gun owners will no longer be required to keep guns unloaded or locked up. Well, that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com. And check in later today for a look ahead at tomorrow's news stories.